It's time to celebrate. Team Audi Sport has won the 2024 Dakar Rally and thus made history for Audi. For the first time, a low emission prototype with an electric drive, high voltage battery and energy converter has won the world's toughest desert rally. Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz started Friday's final stage with a huge lead over the second place Toyota of Guillaume de Mivius. All they needed to do was bring their Audi RSQ e-tron safely through the final stage. The Spanish Audi duo took a careful approach, avoided any unnecessary risk and got support from Matthias Ekstrom and Emil Bergqvist who started right behind their teammates and stayed close to them until the stage finish. P17, 10 minutes and 50 seconds behind stage winner Sebastian Loeb was more than enough to secure Audi's historic first Dakar win. It was the fourth Dakar victory for Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz with Formula One driver Carlos Sainz Jr. being one of the first to congratulate his father. I'm very, very, very proud, very happy for Audi, you know, for all the supporters, for all the Spanish people who support me. The team make an, an unbelievable job believing in this concept and, and today, as you say, we wrote history in, 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 this, in the motorsport and in the Dakar and uh, I'm very proud to be part of this family and to be part of this achievement. I can only say thank you to Audi for believing in myself and for helping me to achieve this and I'm so happy for the whole team and thanks to, to the team and Matthias and, and Stefan, Eduard, Emil, all, all, every single member of the team. Matthias Ekstrom and Emil Berkvist played wingmen for Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz, staying behind their teammates to be able to help them in case of any problems. They finished the stage in P12. The issue that came after the rest day was breaking our necks and the chance to fight for a, for a podium or a win. And then we just were supporting Carlos the second week and trying to you know, help the team as much as we can and uh, learn and uh, in the end we have learned a bit for sure and uh, very happy for Audi and uh, also for Carlos that uh, managed to win. That it was not straightforward to get through the last short stage of the 2024 Dakar Rally without any problems was underlined by the fate of Stefan Kettehansel and Edouard Boulanger. Their Audi RSQ e-tron grounded to a halt at kilometre 95 with a technical issue. It has definitely not been their Dakar rally. Big satisfaction for the team. Uh, really happy for Carlos, but also really happy for the team because we know that this project was really complicated since the beginning due to, 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 to the technology. And finally, after three years, Audi is able to win. So it's already a, a big success. Uh, the first time in the in the story of the of the motorsport that uh, car hybrid with electric engine win the win the Dakar, so it will be forever. I'm really proud of uh, of what did Carlos and what uh, what did also the team. So for for, for for us, for sure, we are a little bit disappointed, but uh, we keep on the on the brand uh, the positive point on this victory, a fantastic victory of Carlos. The results of the final stage had no big relevance with Matthias Ekstrom and Emil Berkvist setting the 12th fastest time. Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz sealed their overall victory with P17. While the 15-day marathon ended not as hoped for Stefan Peter Hansel and Edouard Boulanger. This is the final classification of the 2024 Dakar Rally with Carlos Sainz and Lucas Cruz securing the victory with a margin of 1 hour and 20 minutes.